Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for October number 2024. You have been supplied with the following source files. I have the source files here. Task 1 Evidence Document. Open the file Evidence and make sure your name, center number and candidate number will appear on every page and you have to save this as evidence followed by your candidate number. So this is the evidence document. Go to insert. In the header you can give your candidate details, name, center number and candidate number. Now save as evidence followed by your candidate number. You can save it as Word document. We'll be doing the document production task, task 2. Using a suitable software package, open the file organic.rtf. So this is the file organic.rtf. The page setup is set to A4 landscape and 2 cm margin. Do not make any changes. Three paragraph styles have been created and applied. Do not make any changes. So you are not supposed to change any of these settings. Save the document in your work area with the file name organic. File save as. The name is organic and make sure it is saved in the format of the software you are using. So we are using Microsoft Word, so it should be saved as Word document. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure that there is evidence of the file type. So go to your folder. So this is the file. Make sure it is saved as Word document. Make sure this file format is completely visible. If it's not visible, you have to make sure it is completely visible. Then you can take the screenshot. So that is step one evidence. You can paste it under that. Next, remove any page breaks from the organic document. So in order to see all the page breaks, you have to show the paragraph marks. Just click on this paragraph marks so that it will show all the paragraph marks and other formatting. So if you scroll down, you can see there is a page break here. So you can click here and remove the page break. Now there is one more page break here. So backspace and remove the page break. So all the page breaks are removed. Now you can hide the paragraph marks. Place in this document a right align header with automated page numbers. So insert header. right align so there are no text in the left area or the center area so on right you have to insert the page number so go to page number current position you can insert the page number a right align footer on a single line with the text guide produced by followed by a space then your name center number and candidate number so insert footer again it's on the right side you can remove the text on left and center so guide produced by a colon and then a space then give your name center number candidate number 
make sure it is on a single line. Next, make sure that all the footer details are on a single line. The header and footer are aligned to the right. No other text or placeholders are included and headers are footers are displayed on every page. So we have checked all those. You can see it's on a single line and it appears on all pages. Select the subheading what is organic farming and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending to looking after the license. So from this text till this paragraph. So first let's find the paragraph. So press Ctrl F. So the find option will be there. Just type one or two words from the paragraph, the license. So this is looking after the license. So till here we need to select. So from what is organic farming? Till this paragraph you need to select. Change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a 1.5 cm space. So go to layout. You can see columns, more columns. Now you select the number of columns, two. It's already equal width settings. Spacing must be 1.5. So 1.5. Okay. Sort the bulleted list from mixed crops for pest control to this bullet in alphabetical order. So these are the bullets. Select the bullets. On home tab, you can see the sort button here. Click on sort and make sure it is in ascending so that it is alphabetical order. Give OK. So it is sorted. Format the list so that star-shaped bullets replace the existing bullets and the bullets are intended 2 cm from the margin. So select the bullets, go to bullets, define new bullet, we don't have star here, so define new bullet, click on symbol. We don't have the star here, so let's check in. Most of the symbols are defined in the wing ding form. Select wing dings. You can scroll down, the star is here. Give OK and OK. So we have the star bullet here. Next, the bullets are intended 2 cm from the left margin. So right click, adjust list intents, bullet position, you can give 2 cm. Give OK. So it is intended 2 cm from the left margin. Create and store the following style, basing it on the default normal paragraph style. So we have to create a style called OIF subhead. So let's create the style. On home tab, we have the styles here. You can click here. Create a new style. Create a style. Give the name OIF subhead. Now let's modify. The style is serif, the size is 22, sender, bold, italic. So it should be based on, should be first you have to make sure that it is based on normal paragraph style. So click on normal. Now the font is serif, that means Times New Roman. The font size is 22. It is center, bold and italic. 
then line spacing is single the spacing before and after the paragraph is 0 and 4 for that you can go to format paragraph the line spacing is given as single the spacing before is 0 after should be 4 you need to take a screenshot of this This is step 7 evidence. Since we had clicked on this paragraph, it has changed to the um, style we created. Bring it back to the original style, which is body. So just select this and make sure it is in body style. Identify the five subheadings in the document and apply the OIF subhead style to each one. So this is one of the subheadings. Two, three, select the subheadings. Four, and five. These are the five subheadings. It should be the style which we created. So the style which we created is OF subhead. Locate the table in the document, delete the entire column and contents with the heading 2014. So this is the table. So we need to delete the column with the heading 2014. So right click, delete columns. Format the first row of the table so that it becomes a single cell with the contents central line over the four columns. So that means the top row we need to merge and central line. So right click merge cells and you can central line. Format the table so that the table width is set to 10.5 cm. The table is centered within the column width. So select the table. Right click, table properties. You can see the width here, preferred width. Set it as 10.5 centimeter. And the alignment should be center. Give OK. All text in each row displays on one line. So you can see all the text are displayed on one line. Format only the paragraph that starts a physical barrier so that, so let's find the paragraph. Control F. A physical. So this is the paragraph. A physical barrier. So select this paragraph. The text is intended 1.5 centimeters from both left and right margins. So right click, paragraph, left and right means you can give before and after 1.5 centimeter. You okay? It displays an external 3 to 4 point black border. It has a light gray, 15 to 35% background fill. So keep the selection. Now go to design, page borders. Go to normal border here. Box. So this is an external border. Now you can set the width 3 to 4 point. So 3 point and shading. You can choose a gray which is between 15 to 35 percent. Give OK.
spell check and proofread the document. You can go to review, spelling and grammar check. You can see all the spellings are correct. So that is done. Make sure the list and table are not split over two columns or pages. There are no widows or orphans. So you can see the list is not split and the table is not split. To make sure there are no widows or orphans, select all text, right click, paragraph. You can see line and page breaks in that make sure widow orphan control is ticked. So if widow or orphan appears anywhere, it will be removed. Next, there are no blank pages. The original styles are maintained and spacing is consistent. So, all the styles are consistent. Save the document using the same file name and format used in step 1. So, you can save. And then next step is printing the document. You can go to file, print and Select the printer and print. So this is the end of the document production task. Next one is the database. It's already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.